I've started recommending browser extensions to you all via videos specifically for Chrome thus far, but I will be doing some more videos for Firefox and for Opera and they cover a little bit of a different set of extensions that I think people should be using and I'm, I'm actually really excited for some of the upcoming videos, but I actually had a few questions regarding which extensions I specifically used. We're going to be getting into that right now. Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. Now, of course, I will be skipping over some of the extensions, the obvious ones that you may see in this list here, such as Adobe Acrobat, Google Drive application launcher, the general apps launcher, Google Docs, etc. So if you see some in the list that I'm skipping over, it's probably because they're just kind of default system tray -y things not worth talking about. Now, of course, I do use Google Chrome as my primary web browser. I know other people prefer different things, and there's some issues with Mozilla lately as well as Google, and there's always been some issues with Opera, but people still seem to love it. I will be covering more browser extensions from the different browsers in due time. But for now, here are the Chrome browser extensions that I use. And we're just going to start at the top of the list. Some of these you may know. For example, Better TTV is an add-on for Twitch.tv, which is, of course, popular game streaming site, which adds a lot of features. Honestly, I don't use a ton of them, but it adds uh, highlighting if you're tagged in chat. So, for example, I am here in Doc's chat. Actually, he's probably subscriber only. But if I hit Eddie plus Fox, highlights it a bit. It's in sub only, so that doesn't really work. But it adds some... Um, more global emotes to your live stream. It, it improves the way it looks a little bit. It does quite a bit here. You can see a feature set. You, oh, and you get to see deleted messages even after they're deleted, which is a little handy sometimes. And there's a link preview. So actually, if we go over here to my chat, so I don't get in trouble for spamming someone else. One of the cool features is if there's an image link, and actually I'm going to have to paste this a few times here for this to work effectively. But if there's an image link in chat, you get a preview if of the link. If you hover over it and it should work on normal links too. I was just at the top of the chat. So that wasn't working. All right. That's not working right, but it's supposed to give you a hover preview of links and image links before you click on them. So, you know, actually, so you just don't have to click on them in the first place or so you know what you're getting into prior to clicking, which is handy. Next up, we have something super simple and that is category tabs for Google keep Google keep is a just basic notepad organization tool that I rely on heavily for grocery lists and video ideas and things like that. Most of this, unfortunately, I'm probably just going to blur all this out, but I have tons of saved kind of bookmarks and references and things like that in here. And the category tabs adds these little color tabs to the top so that if you have notes sorted by color, it will show you those specific notes based on what you have linked or, you know, based on what you have clicked on here, which is super handy to just quickly get to a specific kind of note. This easy link BNH photo affiliate tool is my tool that I use for uh, BNH photo video. I have an affiliate account with them. I have linked it in my various camera review videos, uh, but it's a wonderful camera and photo gear shop. And if I ever want to quickly link someone a product with my affiliate link, I can just simply click the BNH easy button and copy the URL and then paste and send it to someone. And they have a nice little bhfo.to URL shortener. And yeah, so if you want to use my link to BNH Photo Video, it will be in the description down below. Genius Link is how I do my international Amazon affiliate links. It's an affiliate link management program. And so it allows me to start linking all of my different Amazon affiliate program accounts all with a single link instead of generating them for every single country and just having massive link spam in the video description. And for example, I've apparently reached 191 unique countries via my Amazon affiliate links. And I that, that doesn't sound remotely right, but hey. Uh, but one big thing that it does highlight here is that I am getting clicks from Australia now, and I do not have an Amazon affiliate link there. And so if I had joined the program, I could start earning money. However, with a lot of the international Amazon affiliate link programs, you have to have a localized address in order to get checks sent to you. And so I have quite a few where I'm earning, in theory, I don't think I've really earned much, but I'm earning commission, but I can't get checks sent to me because I don't live there. So that's part of the reason I haven't signed up for Australia is it's given me a little bit of issues. But that's how I manage my links and send you all international Amazon links. Now, full page screen capture I highlighted in my 
tie or you know seven useful Chrome extensions video and that is great for generating full page screen captures of individual websites which I use for videos a lot if I scroll down and generate all of the loaded elements and then click the full page screen capture button it'll do its little Pac-Man animation and generate me a nice high resolution screenshot since I am at a 4k monitor I get the full size which is really nice Keepa right here is a wonderful browser extension that um, upgrades your Amazon viewing experience. As if you go to a product page, it adds this entire well, it adds this entire section here, which gives you a price history for the product that you're looking at, which helps make sure that if you're getting a cool sale, you're actually getting it for a good deal, which is super important because sometimes there will be deals that you want to go buy on Black Friday or Cyber Monday that just aren't great. And this will help you figure that out. And so it has identified by Amazon's listing prices, other new listings, used listings, and then some other details. And so, for example, the base price for this 4K Blu-ray of the fifth element is $19.96. And if I want to make sure that's a good deal, I can check here. Looks like at one point it was new for $14, but that seems to have been like a couple day weird sale. Actually, down here it was $15 as well. So... If I wanted to get it now, $19.96 is a decent price for it. But if I wanted to wait over the past few months, it looks like it's been dropping every once in a while to $15. And so I could wait for the $15 price. Or I could see that used listings have gone all the way as far down as $10. So if I wanted to wait for a $10 listing, I could do that. Or I could just go ahead and get it. They have, <laughs> they have a lot more features here than I'll ever use, which is something you're going to hear a lot with a lot of extensions. Uh, you get the close-up view. This is just kind of scales the chart. You can change the date range. So if I go all lifetime, you can see at one point this Blu-ray cost $31. And at some point they had listings as high as $40. Um, or you can just look at the past three months, which is what I normally do. And then if you want to track a product, you can have it email you when a product gets below a price. So since I saw that it regularly hits or it's hit a couple times $15, I can go to track product and I can say my desired price is... $15 right there, $15 or less, Amazon or new, $15 or less, start tracking. And I'm not logged in at the moment because I'm set up on a new browser, but log in and it will send it to you. It's actually really nice. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And then you have some other features if you log in. And then it will also check eBay for that specific product. And you can see here, oh, someone has the fifth element on 4K Blu-ray for only $6. Well, that, that's a starting bid for $6, but you can check prices there. Pretty cool. This kit extension is really cool because it's from kit.com slash epostvox. Kit is a really cool website which allows you to generate different, basically product lists of different products so I can make recommendations of specific you know, product sets. So for example, right here, I have the $250 XLR beginners audio kit. So if I, at some point I could do a dedicated video on this, but it's just a quick recommendation. If you have 250 bucks, these are the quickest products you should buy to get set up recording audio. And then I have that $40 YouTube kit, which I did already do a video on uh, analog capture card alternatives, some cheap mixers and interfaces, which should be all right. Uh, recommendations I specifically made in my OBS master class. Uh, my on-camera video equipment, I may have to upgrade, update that soon. My desktop video equipment, and then I made a audio equipment list for a buddy. And I'm hopefully going to keep making more of these. I just need more time to dedicate to a side project like this. But the kit extension allows me to quickly add product links to a kit. So, for example, back on this four, fifth element 4K Blu-ray, if I want to add it to a kit, I can choose which kit I add it to. I'm going to make a new one. 4K Blu-ray recommendations. Spelling is hard when you're on video. Hit create. And now I have made a new kit. And this Blu-ray has been added to it. Last pass, I of course can't show you a whole lot for, but it's a password manager. It helps you keep your passwords up to date. Helps you store all your passwords because you need to be using unique passwords per website. Of course, the Chrome Web Store is not wanting to load all of a sudden. That's lovely. We'll just type in LastPass. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so here we go. I do not have an affiliate link with them. I know some people do. Hopefully, I will at some point have a sponsorship set up for them. Uh, but basically, they help you store your passwords, help you generate high-quality, unique passwords for every website, 
helps you sync them across multiple devices. I have a an extension for my phone that lets me quickly log into phone apps. Um, it helps you store payment information, software keys, pretty much everything. And 99.9% of the core functionality is free, which is really cool. And here, if you pay, you also get one gigabit or one gigabyte of encrypted file storage, which is kind of cool. Hmm. It's pretty cool software. Definitely recommend checking it out. And that is what I use for password management. Stylish, I covered in that other video of Chrome extensions, but it allows you to create custom or use custom user themes for your website. So for example, on YouTube, I have this Nyan Cat uh, progress bar. And then I had a Facebook dark theme. I can pull that up real quick. I have dark theme for Facebook. A couple little indicators here of just a couple cool little custom user themes. Um, now, Stylish is apparently no longer being maintained. And a lot of people in my last video wanted me to make sure I knew about Stylus, which is a very similar project, just forked over to keep it updated and things like that. So if you want a user styles program, I'd probably recommend switching over to this. I just have not switched mine over yet. I will have this link in the description below. Same functionality as Stylish, just updated. All right, we're getting to the last nitty gritty here. Session Buddy, again, covered in the last video, helps me maintain my tabs and sessions. So for example, it shows I have 62 open tabs right now. If I want to go ahead and save them on video session 6418. I've now saved all of these tabs in a saved session so that I can pull them up at any time and helps me keep tabs persistent even past crashes where control shift tab will not work. TubeBuddy, uh, they're actually the sponsor for this video unintentionally, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. TubeBuddy is a free browser extension which allows you to do a lot with YouTube on the back end. I'm just going to go ahead and play my ad here real quick. TubeBuddy is the best tool you can get to manage your YouTube channel. You can update videos in bulk, optimize your SEO, syndicate to social media, back up your metadata, and more, all with a simple browser extension. Head to eposvox.com slash TubeBuddy to learn more and download it for free. So yeah, affiliate link for that. Of course, I always have that installed. I've been using it for a couple years. I could not use YouTube without it, and that's not just sponsored talk. I've been saying that since before I have been sponsored by them. View image is, of course, the tool that brings back uh, the view image button on Google Images. So if I search for a picture of Pikachu, pull that up right there, hit view image. I got a picture, an adorable picture of Pikachu. Of course, may, be, 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 be cognizant of copyright laws. Now, Windows Defender browser protection is a anti-malware and anti-phishing real-time protection browser extension for browsers that Microsoft has recently released. It has gotten a lot of positive reviews across different websites for actually being incredibly like competent. And so for example, for, for now I have it installed. I realize there's concern of Microsoft spying on you, but you're already, I'm already using windows 10. So that's happening anyway. And Google's already spying on me. Uh, but I've heard really good things. And so far it hasn't hindered my brow browsing experience in any way. Like I don't usually notice it's there. So for now it's fine. I can't say whether or not I recommend it because I don't personally have a way of testing how effective it is, but it hasn't caused me a problem. And then, of course, we have uBlock Origin, which is AdBlock in 2018. I do have it installed. I do use AdBlock. However, I disable it on specific sites. And actually, I did not see listed here. Did I skip over it? <laughs> I skipped over it. I also use Privacy Badger, which helps prevent protect you from trackers and from other potentially malicious embedded site elements. Now, the thing with AdBlock programs and Privacy Badger is on some specific sites, it can break functionality. And on top of the fact that you need to support content on specific websites or specific content creators on YouTube if you like their work. So, for example, on YouTube, if I enable Privacy Badger here, it will start blocking ads, but it will also disable TubeBuddy because TubeBuddy needs to integrate between itself and YouTube and it can no longer work with Privacy Badger blocking it. Now, I could specifically enable TubeBuddy itself, but I keep both uBlock Origin and Privacy Badger disabled on YouTube so that ads are shown. However, I pay for YouTube Red as well, um, and now TubeBuddy is working. So keep that in mind. Privacy Badger is super great for keeping you safe, but it can break a lot of websites, and so you'll have to pick and choose how you use it. So that's it. I don't have anything too crazy, but I do use quite a few browser extensions, and it was worth sharing, I suppose. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for more awesome tech content. If you want to see more about browser extensions, go back and check out my seven useful Chrome extensions you should check out. I'll have more coming soon in the future. It is 9.15 a.m. I just needed to get a video out today. Thank you so much for your support, for your for watching, and so on. I have some really cool content coming soon. I'm just struggling to keep up with the day-to-day. -day. That'll be happening very soon. Thank you for watching. See you later.